Hey everyone, I hope that you're having a great week. I know that for me, when it gets to the middle of the week, one of the things that is most helpful and can be a pick-me-up is just a, a dive, even a quick dive into God's Word. And so this week, what I wanted to do with you in our midweek moment is share a brief reminder from our, our worship together this past week, but also just a very brief Bible study moment with you that I hope you can just kind of chew on and see how God uses that to lift you up and to keep moving you forward. You might remember if you were with us in worship this past week, we talked specifically as we continue to talk about the church we want to be, we know it's the church that God wants us to be. And for us at First Church, that means having a heartbeat of transformation. And our key scripture passage that we come back to again and again is found in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I just want to share these words with you. It says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. And then it says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, God's good, pleasing, and perfect will. So as I share those words with you today, I would just invite you to reflect a few moments. Which words stick out to you? How might you take a step of living into transformation this week? Here you are at the midweek point of the week. Where have you already experienced transformation? Where might you need to experience transformation as the remainder of the week goes on? As you're thinking about that, it's interesting to me that the English word for transform, it comes from the Greek word metamorpho, where we get our word metamorphosis from. Uh, but in the English, the term transform, it's actually put together with two different words, the word trans, and the word form. Now trans literally means to go across or to go over. And then form literally means from. So it's interesting, it's just a switching of the letters, F-O-R-M to F-R-O-M. So when you put those literally together, what you get is to go over from or to cross over from. It's almost easy to think of a bridge. You are literally crossing over from. Part of what we're hearing today is that we as followers of Christ, we are crossing over from our earthly human nature and instead crossing over into living the divine life, the transformed life that Christ offers. So I invite you today, where is it in your life you need to cross over from? What does that look like for you? And to give that area to God today. And as you're doing that, would you please keep in mind and keep in prayer? We have individuals who are seeking transformation right now in a very direct way. We have individuals who are now in our disciples' journey, step one. That's literally a first step of transitioning from, going from one place in their life to another. But also, we have an entire group of confirmation students who are also going through a time of studying and learning and modeling of Christ, as they also are saying, we want to take a first step, an intentional step, to transition, to be transformed, to cross over from my old life into new life in Christ. So if you'd be praying for them this week, that would be awesome. So thank you so much, First Church. Uh, thank you for your heart for transformation, both individually and corporately. And would you continue to be in prayer that we would be a church of transformation in Christ everywhere and in all ways. Thanks so much. Have a great week. And we look forward to connecting with you soon in worship, in service, in learning, wherever God puts us together. Blessings and take care.